Hi guys, this is Chakit and today's video is all about human resource. So how important human resource is for any organization and how it has evolved over the period of time and how the new human resource management is going to be. So let me start with giving you an example. Imagine how companies used to work pre-COVID era. We used to have big offices, a confined space where all the employees used to work together. But post-COVID, it's going to change. There is going to be a new era where people will be working remotely and human resource will going to play a vital role in it. So how we can have those skills, techniques and the strategies, how we are going to manage those staff, we need the new education. So in this video, we are going to cover all those courses which are available in Canada and what their requirements are, what fees you need to pay to study there and what is the minimum eligibility. So we are going to discuss all those things in, in this video. So stay, stay tuned and we'll give you all the university and colleges which offer these courses step by step. So let's get this started. And this video is about human resource as we discussed before. So uh, this human resource is basically uh, the management of people by the policies. So these policies are defined over the period of time depending upon the situation, the requirements of the company and also depends upon the government regulations. So we need to be uh, quite sure that we have that updated information, tips, tricks, strategies so that uh, we can manage that business effectively. So uh, in order to do that, we need that education. And uh, since you guys are watching this video, you guys are interested to study in Canada, especially in human resource. So let me give you uh, a brief about uh, if you'll study this human resource management, what kind of a job you can uh, get and what salaries you can expect. So let's begin with uh, what kind of a jobs uh, you should have in order to get to human resource once you have completed your study if you have the man manager position which comes under the skill type zero basically a management job and that can land you uh, a pretty good position to then you have a human resource professional so it's basically basically a professional who has done their degree from a university and a human resource recruitment officer who can uh, who has a technical qualification and just an entry level job so all these jobs so we'll discuss about those qualification in a bit let me just give you a brief about what salary you can expect once you complete uh, your education and you are starting off with a job so human resource managers are the ones who get the uh, maximum salary their salary range starts somewhere about 82500 per year that is the canadian dollars and then we have human resource professionals which has their salary as uh, 71253 per year and then we have uh, entry level jobs so once you are just off uh, from your studies and starting with your career you can expect roughly around 42,900. So these are the rough estimates. You can get more or less, but these are the uh, averages what we can expect uh, since we have just started off. Post this, uh, we'll start off with uh, what all universities and what their requirements are. So uh, everyone has a different background, but in order to uh, start off with something new in Canada, you need to have some uh, minimum qualification what every university has uh, set their standard as. So for example, uh, human resource management from University of Regina, which has a September intake, their fees is roughly around $16,025 Canadian dollars. Application fees is $100 and their IELTS requirement is 6.5, no bend less than 6. They also accept uh, PT and their minimum requirement uh, in your graduation, it needs to be 70% or first class. So if you have first class or 70%, we can calculate that once you uh, do with, uh, will start with your application. 
you can just let us know or you can share your documents with us we can do the profile evaluation we can check your marks and uh, we can let you know if you are eligible for this course or not and the duration for this course is 2 years then we have trent university uh, the course is post graduate certificate human resource management they also have their intake in uh, september 21 Their fees is twenty one thousand three hundred eighty five. Application fees ninety dollars, and they only accept IELTS. And their requirement is six point five, no more than six. Minimum GPA or minimum percentage required here is sixty percent, and it's a one year graduate certificate course. Then uh, Trent also has a graduate certificate, business human resource, and graduate certificate in marketing management. It has two intakes. Uh, one is in May and the other one is September. The fee is twenty-two thousand four hundred and fifty-four dollars. Application fees is ninety dollars. IELTS requirement six point five, no band less than six. Minimum GPA which is required is sixty percent, and then it's a two years course. So as you can see, uh, the requirements differs from college. and university level and depending upon what course you want to apply then they have another course which is human resource management which is in peterborough which is in september 21 the fees is 21385 application fees is 90 dollars ielts requirement 6.5 no more than 6 their gpa requirement is 50% so guys if you are planning to study at university level and you do not have that higher percentage in your bachelor's you can apply for this course it's a one year course and then lastly we have thomson river university which has a post baccalaureate diploma human resource management intake is in may 21 and september 21 their fees is 18840 application fees is 100 dollars ielts and pt both are acceptable here IELTS requirement is 6.5, no more than 6, and then PT is 59. Their also their requirement is also 50% in your graduation, and it's a two years post graduate diploma. So once you have done your graduation and you are planning to study human resource management in Canada, these are the five options which you can get. Their requirement is not that high, so pretty much all the student can have an option to study here. depending upon if you want to have a one year course or a two years course so both the options are available ielts requirement is pretty simple 6.5 no more than 6 and couple of them accept pt also with an average i would recommend 60 above 60 will be a good option so coming intakes would be may and september jan is pretty full right now so you can expect may and september now moving on to colleges we have douglas we have camson we have seneca elgonquin we have centennial we have conestoga we have humber we have george brown elgoma university is there and then we have mohawk college and fenshaw so their requirement pretty much starts from 50% goes up to 70% so if you fall anywhere in between you can clearly think of getting an admission here Uh, all the options we have here uh, one year options are also available then you have two years option available one year option will give you one year of stay back plus you also have the option of uh, doing 1 plus 1 that will be two years of education that will give you three years of post study work visa then you can also straight away go for a two years uh, post graduate diploma or a graduate diploma that will also give you three years of stay back So if you are looking forward to study in any of these colleges for human resource management uh, all this information will be available on our website uh, you can find the links in the description below and you can go through all that information there if you need any assistance with your application uh, the number is mentioned in below which is 8810435500 and visit our website which is vacglobaleducation.com we'll be looking forward to receive uh, queries from you uh, be it the application process you are interested in you want to apply for your visa 
you have any problem with your documentation so any sort of problem you are facing do not hesitate we are here to help you and uh, yeah we look forward to hearing from you if you have any uh, questions you can leave a comment below we'll be uh, we'll be monitoring them on regular basis we'll we can reply there if you uh, if you are on instagram you can uh, follow us on instagram also the link is given below we have a facebook page a youtube you are already watching it here and uh, uh, yeah of course our website so save this number 8810435500 and uh, whatsapp your query or leave a comment below and we'll be more than happy to help you thank you for watching this video and share your views about this video in the comment box and we shall see you soon with another update another course and yeah have a good one thank you bye